Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I have some things I want to share with y'all today. I am trying to get stuff ready for my Etsy store. So I have three um, little small books here that um, junk journals that I made up using different kits and stuff and um, just had the best time doing it. So let's get started on this uh, middle one here. And if y'all are um, followers on, uh, with me on my on my YouTube, you know that I made this on my trip. So what I end up doing is making a little bag up and put this on there and just stuck that it says my journal on the back. And this right here is a little collage I made up. It can be added on here or it can be used in a different, um, you know, item you wanted to craft. Here's a couple of um, napkins that I'm going to send along. This I made into a pocket and filled it up with a bunch of really pretty ephemera. Um, my ephemera either comes from Epop or Ephemera Pop. I'm not for sure the exact name of her. Uh, Vintage Ephemera's Garden or My Porch Prints. Um, could be Calico Collage or TLC Creates Vintage. So I kind of can mix things up sometimes. So really pretty um, ephemera though. This is part of the little the book that I got uh, on herbs and wildflowers and stuff. And I just stuck that in there because I thought it the purple flower there is so pretty. And this is just a book, I mean a bag here that I decorated. And I thought it turned out really cute though. I love decorating these bags and I have just done a whole bunch of them. This is uh, VEG's uh, kit, which is Prince, I think, her Prince kit. I loved it. And so I made it up in a small journal, which is about five and a, nearly five and a half by three and three quarters. And it's just gorgeous. And I have added all kinds of little extra stuff to it, some ribbon and stuff, this beautiful little girl right here. I just love this paper that she did up. This is one of those, let me bring it in a little bit. This is one of those, uh, like Lori, Girl on the Ridge, just doing this where you tear stuff and just kind of put it together, a little uh, writing notebook there that you can write with. I, I put Faith on there. And more of this beautiful digital kit. I did this up. I have a whole bunch of this ribbon here that I bought recently. And I mean, I got tons of it. Love it. And this is a little doily. I put a, the same, this right here, napkin on it. So that turned out in some book page paper. Just love this kit. It is so cute. And I teed out all my paper. This one right here. I actually sewed this in. Oh, my. Um, okay, fixed the little envelope there and put my paper clip back on there. I just love this little picture here. It's so cute. Kind of reminds me of um, Mary Antoinette. And this is a little envelope that I came, I think it's EPOP. I'm not for sure if I'm saying that right. I'm terrible with pronouncing things. And I have like a little fold over thing in here. Isn't that pretty? That's that uh, lavender kit from Prima Marketing. That is beautiful. I'm, I'm not gonna even try to put that back on there. Let me see, I wanna make sure that I've got this pulled in close. Got a little pocket here that I sewed on. This is Prima Marketing. Um, I recently got some of these butterflies, ordered them from, I think her name is A Supply off of Etsy. I, I always think I write down everything and then I don't have, don't have one, so I don't have her wrote down, down on my list. Here's another little card I made up. It says, Made with Love. Love that picture. And just did, you know, put a little, uh, lace here, added a bunch of stuff. Here's a little pocket here. Just more gorgeous paper. And another little pocket I sewed on here on the edge. And also this 
And this right here is a little pocket too. It's a little belly band. All right, so that's that one. I'm trying not to take up for it all the time. Now here's my lavender one. This here, um, I recently got a uh, thaw folder from G Carr and she had this ribbon on there. So thank you G for the ribbon and it'll re really go with my lavender in the garden bug. I've got a little charm here I did up. And okay, let me bring that out a little bit. And uh, just embellished this up. This is Stamparia here that I used. And uh, on the front here, I have added some beautiful rosettes here, this little beautiful purple lace, dangled lace, this little green garland. And this, the, a lot of the pictures I have in here for Mrs. Cog's Lavender in the Garden. So let's get started on this. I love this picture of this girl right here. She's so pretty, so I, I cut her out and put her in there. This little picture right here, I added some lace on it. You know, I tea dyed, I tea dyed all my papers and just have all kinds of beautiful papers in here. This is CJ Christopher's lace papers. I love this little collage I made up. This is lavender, has this butterfly girl on there. Picture of some lavender, lavender and dictionary. And just tons of writing space on these two. I just love it. This is a old oh, music paper here I recently got on my trip. Another little thing I sewed up and stuck on there. And also, I made this paper clip here. Um, Miss Cog's Crafts re recently made up some of these. And so, this one's similar to what she did. So, I got my idea from her, and I think she got it from somebody else. But anyway, it, it, my idea came from her, so I'm, I'm going to give her the credit. <laughs> She's just so talented. And this one here, I just made up, put a little lace and some more of that uh, ribbon that's um, pleated. Oh, my goodness. I'm always fumble fingers. Love that picture. Get some stenciling. Here's a fold out. A little side pocket here. With some more goodies. Miss Cog's real good about doing up these pictures and she puts them kind of all together. So I really like her digitals. And this right here is really cute. I fixed up. Love this here. Actually, I accidentally See the sewing on this book, on this uh, piece of paper? I accidentally printed over this twice, but it ended up turning out really cute, so I just went with it. This is a little fold out here, something you can write on. My mom gave me these, and I love them. Some more beautiful paper. And then this is that um, Stamperia here on this. So that I'm gonna have for sale. And then here is my B book. And I was so excited to finally get a bee journal done. I've been wanting to make one forever. And this is my little uh, bag that I made up using stencils and just all kinds of stamps that I, I've been collecting. Here's a little, uh, I think this, I don't know what they call these, a ticket book, I guess. I got these from Amazon and then I put this uh, napkin on there, which Here's my two napkins I use, which I'm gonna be putting with this. And then I have a little booklet in here. Just a little booklet I did up. Pap some pretty papers of those wildflowers again. A little writing on there. This is a little pocket. It says, be happy, which is so important for us to be happy. And then here's two papers here. This is a um, Tim Holtz, come from one of his uh, digital, I mean, not digital kits, but scrapbook paper. And then this one here, I just did a bunch of stamping on. It was already had some of the honeycombs on there, so I just kind of went with the theme of it, and these two will be with it. I put some really pretty seam binding ribbon on here that matched the what I used. Um, these this is just cardstock that I used, and I, I decoupaged this real pretty bee picture on there. And um, put this pocket on here. 
So this pocket here with this big old B, and I think this is Calico Collage here's ephemera. And then I just added this little, um, it's not lace, but ribbon, I guess, what you call it. And here is, I'm not for sure, this is kind of like glassing bag material, but it came in with some tins that um, I bought one time and my mom gave them to me because I'd given her the tins and she said, look, you can use this paper in your journals. So I said, sure, I love it. And this right here is just a corner pocket and I just put some book page on there. Did a lot of stamping. This is actually an envelope. I made some pockets out of it. More Tim Holtz. This is more of that honeycomb uh, scrapbook and paper that I thought really was cute and went with it. Here's a big ticket. I think this might be Artemis. I'm not for sure. It could be TLC Creates. Maybe TLC Creates. I did a flip out on that. Here's another really cute, uh, wait a minute, I think I've got something here. Let's see, real pretty paper here. And I love this bee, bee picture here, honeybee, anatomy of a, of a honeybee. We have had a lot of swarms of bees uh, in this area lately. In fact, unfortunately, we've actually had some people die from uh, being attacked by some bees. I don't know. I think they just, this year, for are swarming really bad. Here is another little, um, this is a, I think this is an envelope, and I made a little, some pockets out of it, and I decoupaged that napkin on there. And then here is a couple of little charms on my signature that I sewed in. They're little bees in the antique bronze look. And just some more cards and ephemera. Just be you. And some washi tape that I had bought. And just more beautiful paper here. More washi tape. The little tag I made up, so cute. And this is part of that envelope that I did up. Save the bees. Did a little collage there. There's a little bee, um, I guess this is a home for bees. And I'm not for sure where this kit came from. It's either Calico Collage or My Porch Prints. I'm not for sure. More that pretty washi tape, a side pocket. And this just tells all about honeybees. And here's one of those coin envelopes, and I just sewed this together. That's from Calico Collage. And uh, there's something in here, more little bee ephemera. And I love this paper that I'm using right now. A lot of the paper I'm using, it's that Red River paper. And it's a little more expensive, but you can really, you get really a great quality of, especially when you tea dye it, it just turns out gorgeous. I sewed this on here and just a little another little card there I made up and some more of this really cool um, ribbon. All right, well, okay, got that one. Okay, y'all, thanks so much. And the, I will be listing these in my Etsy store, so please take a look at it. And um, I appreciate all y'all's lovely comments and for subscribing to my channel, and y'all have a blessed day.